the other one, which I found uh, even more fascinating, is um, for achieving some level of inner peace. And I, I'll give you an example. I was just fascinated the first few years. Um, it's been a long time since I thought about it. Well, let's start with a going to sleep example. If, if those quick tricks don't work for you, this kind of approach gives you, this sort of bigger gun approach will give you a sense of what I mean by taking control of your brain. So if, if those tricks don't work, here's what you do. You personify each of the thought patterns that are racing through your head. And here's what I mean. Do you have something about family that you are stewing about? So that's Mr. Family. Do you have something about finances? Oh, should I have made this investment? Oh, should I have not made this investment? Oh, I'm running low on this in my bank account. Or what am I going to do about this check that's coming up? Or is it something about work? Oh, my boss said this to me today. Let's do about that for 49 minutes, you know. Or, uh, you know, my significant other said that. Is he or she really thinking this or really think, let's do about that for another 57 minutes and replay that videotape for 57 minutes. Or my parents this or my kids that. Let's worry about that problem. And then cycle back to the finances and cycle back. And you give each of them a character. Give each of them a character. Whatever you want to name them. Now you put them around a table. And you are the chairman of that board. And you say, you start by assuming positive intent. The character that's doing about the work, you thank them for their thoughts and you say, thank you for raising those things because that may be helping me and you may be playing that videotape because you want me to learn a lesson. So let's talk about, and before I start, how many minutes do you think you need? I hear you that the reason you're replaying this video in my head is that something happened today and you're replaying that video and over, there's a very good reason that you're doing that, and I appreciate that because you're watching out for me. You want me to learn the lesson from that video. So let's do this. This is the inner conversation you have with that one character, and then you're going to repeat. How many minutes do you need to explain the lesson? Is, is, do you think you need 30 minutes? Well, not really 30. How about one? Well, one is not enough. So then you end up with, like, let's take two minutes, and we're just going to listen to it, you analyze the video and say, oh, here's what you're trying to tell me. It's this lesson. I said this stupid thing to my boss. I really shouldn't do that. In this situation, here's what I should do. And then you ask that engineer or that character who's playing that video, work video, over and over and over where you said some dumb thing. Did I get the lesson right? Yes. Was that good? Yes. Do you want to keep going or was that enough for tonight? Do you think we should get some rest? No, we're done. Boom. Sits down. Then you go to the next, the one that's doing about what you happen with your significant other or spouse or whatever. Let's, and you're playing some stupid video of some stupid thing that you did and shouldn't have done. Let's go through that. How many minutes do you need? You converge and agree. And you go, how many minutes? You give that character your full attention. You thank, and you start by thanking it for watching out for you. Assume positive intent. Instead of making enemies with your thoughts and trying to suppress them, you become partners with them, friends with them. And now you walk through, one by one, each of the three or four or five characters that were playing videos or, or sounds or, or, or audio about stuff that happened that day that you are stewing about, and you just walk around the table. And as soon as you're done, as soon as the last person says, okay, I'm done, you feel this like incredible calm. And then you just go to sleep. <laughs>